But, okay, next, uh, we have Arch Moon. I, for some oh. reason, I don't know if it was the, the exhaustion and, like, starvation talking. <laughs> At that point, I'd eaten, but I, I was, like, I was getting, I don't know, I felt like crap. But I was, like, almost on the verge of tears when he was, like, Arch Moon. Oh, and then when he played that Leo's message. That was like, I was like, whatever. That was a good throwback, though. It didn't make any sense. Like, what's the point? Because he was like, hey, guess what? Remember this? Trying to get Luke to go back. Remember the girl that you probably had a boner for when you saw that? And then you found out that was your sister how many years later? <gasps> oh, God! Because think about it. He, 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 yeah, because he, reason... he was watching. He's like, whoa. She's beautiful. <laughs> the only reason why he helped her is because he wanted some of it. Yeah. Like, he never was like, oh, that's my sister. I, I've got to help her. It was like, dude, I don't want a piece of that. Yeah, if I help her, maybe she'll bang me tonight after we get our award. All right, all right. But it was it was always like, because that, that's the first thing I would think, too. Like, let's say I saw, like, a brother I didn't know that I had in, like, some video, and it was like, he was like, Sophia, I need you to help me, man. And so then, like, and I'm like, damn. Oh, I know it's my brother. I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, imagine it's like, I'd be like, and then, like, some sometime later, I finally leave my brother. I'm like, okay. Oh, God. But Maybe then, I should have stayed home. <laughs> but then later on, I, but then later on, I find, like, for some reason, he needs me again. And then they show me that video where I first was like, what does that mean? That's going to yeah. be weird. That's going to be super weird. Well, well, but R2 is reminding him that that's what got him into the I fight know, but that's it. just what I had going through. I was like, I wouldn't show him that. Maybe I would show, like an updated version of maybe, like, a distress call or something that she had sent out prior. Like, maybe, like, kind of in, like, maybe during... But then hey, it went... listen to me. Maybe... Ju- no, this is a good idea. So, listen. Maybe during that time where Luke had to go off into hiding, not as he was in hiding, but, like, when he had to leave, maybe this, like, recording of Leia, she's a little younger, because they can do that, because they made him look younger during the flashback part, where she's just, like, saying, like, Luke, I need your help. Like, please come back. Like, just so early on when she thought that he might actually have... That could have been really emotional. Yeah. But now, not that this is even really a big focal point of the film, it was cute seeing them back together. It made me so happy because he was just like, R2, and then you get to <laughs> I love that part. That's it. So, um, <laughs> so my next bullet point, hold do equals hold no. Oh, God. I hate her character. I hate her character. See, I love Laura Dern. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> as much as the next girl. But, um, no. Hold no. Well, it didn't make any sense why she was just Why like, wouldn't she tell Poe about her plan? Because well, she didn't have one. <laughs> That's probably it. She's like, eh. But it's like, mm. she should have been prepared if she was the vice. What was the point of having a, a vice? She's like the senator lady. Like, what the Yeah, heck? why was she there? Maybe, or maybe she was on, like, the what, Where was she on Dakar? She's just walking around. I don't know. It was kind of weird. It seemed like it was more like Admiral Akbar or one of the other people that were there. Yeah. Like, what if Admiral Akbar didn't get sucked out the window? <laughs> what if he was if he was the admiral and he had a plan? Just think how much better that would have made the movie. Well, then there wouldn't have been the conflict. But even the the whole point of conflict is that she doesn't want to tell Poe, like the second in command, yeah. her plan, which doesn't make any sense. Also, it was just weird. I think. And people point this out, oh, she's in, like, a prom dress or whatever. Like, it's weird to see her all dolled up when everyone else is, like, everyone else is, like, in their garbs. Yeah. yeah. And it's, like, it was just weird to see her all prince and pupil. I was she looked like a senator. Well, but even Leia, she had, like, her dress. And but whatever. she's older. And, like, but, Yeah, like, she doesn't need to run out with a gun and me. But, but then Billy. Holdo don't either. Like, Billy's character, she has, like, her, like, whole, her, like, uniform. Yeah. It's, like, it just, that was a little weird. But I, I like the color palette because I do love me some purple, but uh, it just, it was weird. But, um, mm-hmm. her character design is weird. But I think, I think Laura worked in the role. I'm not yeah. really going to complain performance-wise. Like, she did fine. It's just... Just kind of an out-of-place thing to throw in there. But, well... Just the whole point of conflict. It was dumb. It, it was, was a dumb. dumb conflict. Like, oh, I'm not going to tell you, you little brat. Yeah, it was basically like, oh, I get it. You're like a hot shot pilot. <laughs> but I'm going to let you in on my little... I'm not going to tell you. You know what? No, I'm not going to tell you. Like, it was just weird. It's... Yeah. It's like what to what? Event? What was the what was the point? Of, isn't there something else we should be working on right now like, instead of like, <laughs> like what would at the end of the day what would keeping like maybe what would keeping it from him do? That's exactly right. Like what 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 would it accomplish? Because worst case scenario, 
Because what are you expecting him to do? That he's going to go off on his own thing and just accomplish yeah. it? No, he's, I think he learned his lesson when his entire fleet got wiped out. I think he got bitch slapped by Leia. Yeah. I think he learned his lesson. Le- ugh, lesson. Um, it, telling it, everybody would have helped him move a little smoother instead of like yeah. last minute like oh guys here's the plan we're about to die so make sure you do this like you know, yeah, and then, like what, everybody could have been prepared because at, at the end of the day what is ha- not having your second in command know what he's doing like it, no it just yeah. leads it leads to chaos it leads to mutinies being committed mm-hmm. it just leads to this whole chaos that could have been avoided more lives could have been spared maybe <laughs> she was just a little like oh i'm better than you something you it was so, it was weird there was some like <laughs> UST going on, you know what I'm saying? There's, it's a little, it's a little, little tension. It's a little weird. Just kind of wanted that. <laughs> oh, you're a hot shot. Mm-hmm. Or he called, she called him something later. I, I didn't get that far, but anyways. So Maz's cameo when, oh my god. Okay, side note, side note. When Poe gets on that black jacket, god damn, it was so fun. It's, I, I'm. I love Oscar Isaac. Okay, anyways. Back to the point. <laughs> Back to the point. I thought that should be known. The costume design is fine in this film. Yeah. Looks fine. I kind of like how they, it's... I think the problem with the prequels aesthetic-wise is that it looks, like, completely separate. Like, everything looks super nice. But then, like, with this, it kind of has the... And, I mean, that's what people praise about Rogue One is it had the aesthetic from New Hope. Mm-hmm. But then with this one, I noticed, I think, a lot more. And they're probably the same stuff that was in The Force Awakens that we just didn't see a lot of. It. It's, it's very, like... I don't know. It, it reminded me a lot of the original trilogy, just with, like, what the Resistance had. I yeah. liked it. I think because we're just... We see more of it. But, yeah. God dang it. Okay. So, <clears throat> Maz's cameo felt so weird. Why couldn't she have been the code breaker? Well, yeah. She was like, oh, guess what? Go find this other fool. Like On this other planet? Why couldn't she just have flown in and but made... But she was busy. They but they could have got... fixed that. They, they could have yeah. res- gotten her off of that planet with the union dispute, which I thought was kind of funny. They could have just gotten her... Oh, oh, I forgot that Rose. I forgot. I think by this point we're introduced to Rose because mm. Rose and Ben come up with the plan. Um, Rose, I think she's just a very... Here, here's a very conflicting thing with Rose because having, I mean, I know why a lot of people didn't end up liking her like towards the end. But, yeah. But I at think, first she was fine for me. Anyway. You know who she? I had a little note because I had these two specific things that I was like, <clears> okay, they're not really like things that I liked and didn't like, but there's things I noticed. Um, you, you've never seen Firefly, right? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. You Firefly fans? Boy, I got something for you. Okay, so I think, and this was just more personal for me. But she really reminded me. You would okay. You need to see. I'm gonna go and do Firefly. I got it on Blu-ray. Boo! I'm gonna hook you up. Okay. But um, yeah, it's very, it's very Star Wars. And K2SO is in it. So. Mm. But um, Alan Tudyk, I love you, boy. You've been doing so good. Okay. Anyways, um, but I think you know who I realized that um, that Rose reminds me of. She reminds me of Kaylee. In that first scene where we introduced her, I was like. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, she reminds me of Kaylee from Firefly. She totally does. And I think it's just in her mannerisms. And they try, I, kind of, I mean, I kind of liked initially how they tried to make her like a, a cutesy whatever character. And they kind of could have rolled with that more, but it could have gotten annoying. And I think they do a really good job of that. Firefly of like bouncing, not making her like completely like, she's just kind of like the sweetheart. And she's kind of like the little sister to everyone. And she's just so sweet. So that's kind of what, that's kind of the vibe I got from her. Like, maybe if they had made her, I mean, I don't Kelly Marie Tran, she's not, like, that old. Like, I'm like, she's not old, but if they made her, like, maybe, like, a teen or something, they could have been, like, cuter. Like, it could have been, like, a literal big, okay, we wouldn't, maybe we wouldn't have that dumb romance. And it would have been, like, been, like uh, older uh, brother thing. For, for Finn to look out for someone else, you know, that would have been, that would have been, that would have been amazing. They could have still kept her Asian. Like, who cares? Yeah. Who cares what race she is? Just no. make her a little younger instead of, like, this older lady. Like, oh, hey, Finn. I milf. Make, make Rose a milf. Mm. But that could have been... Yeah. Yeah. God yeah, damn, yeah, why are you worked. coming up with all the good ideas? What, what's up, Brian? What's up? That could have been good. Because, like, it could have been, like, he... And Finn would be looking out for her throughout their whole adventure. Throughout their, like, and... adventure. And that could have made the Canto Bite whole thing, aside from the whole abuse like slavery thing they could have gotten rid of that and maybe just had where they have to go to maybe like a skeezier like dangerous planet and yeah. had he had to look out for her 
And then at the end, that would make more sense when she crashed into him because he would seem like an older brother, so she would have more feelings for him and like, instead no, don't lust. die. It's the I mean, lust. Right. Instead of like, oh, I love you. Oh, I'm going to crash into so we can kiss. But it could have been, that, that could have changed the entire film. That could have made it more impactful, too, because she would be willing to die for him. Right. And not so much of a like, like a, oh, oh I Lord, had to save uh, us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ooh. Dang. Wow. Potential miss. That would have been so good. And like, I mean, Star Wars hasn't had the best track re- record with kid actors, mm-hmm. but like a teen. <laughs> so that's like Natalie yeah. Portman age when she was in there. But um, yeah. Oh, God. Those kids on Canto Bite are god awful. But why didn't they do that? And even then, they could have still kept that whole child thing because she kind of, she maybe she had gotten out or whatever. Because then Paige could have been the older sister. And she yeah. lost her, like, I mean, I think they... She lost so... her role model, so she looks for that in the fan. Oh, my God! Oh, we should make a theory, like, like a... Like a like what? Like a fan fiction yeah. kind of a thing. Okay, we're not writing fan fiction. We're writing No, I know, games. but, like, you, you know, never mind. Kind of like our own version of the last one. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Okay. Okay, but I think people... And this is a dilemma with Rose. And I think that it comes... Okay, that's not... <laughs> but, um, so I think that the dilemma with Rose, people blame it on the race, they blame it on the gender, yada, 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 yada. I think for some people it's that, they can't handle seeing an Asian person on the screen. Mm. I'm like, you know, whatever, that's a personal thing. And if she's a girl, then people are like, oh, I can't stand seeing more female characters, god damn it. First, Daisy, then Felicity. And then Amelia, but no one should be complaining about her, because, god damn. And then, it's Ke- Kelly, what do you, you do? I can kind of see that, but it, I'm not saying that's justified in any means. Y'all are outdated. But, um, I can see how that, <laughs> I can see how that's a problem for some people, but I don't think that's a legitimate complaint. Right. Well, I, I mean, that didn't bother me at all. I thought she was no. fine until, you know, the scene at the, uh, towards the end. Of... If we're talking about appearances... But... If we're talking about appearances, I have one complaint, and I never complain about anything. Um, her costume looks so frumpy and weird. It was. It was just kind of like a onesie. It was like <laughs> not just like she's a pretty girl. Yeah, it was like her like outfit thing. It was her outfit was weird, and her hair was weird. I hated her hair. Oh, her like little like little, moons. Like it looked whatever. like like anime hair. Oh god, it looked weird. I don't like her hair, but I, I love Kelly as an actress. I think she really and that especially in that scene where she's just crying. She's holding. They, I mean, they eventually say like my sister died, and we're like, oh, but Damn. just they just show like the necklace, and we're like, oh shoot, mm. like you understand, and we're like, oh my god, and so you instantly already feel for her off the bat, and. She's not really a... Because I was trying to see it from some people's perspective. I'm never going to see it from the whole racist perspective because I'm not racist. I'm never going to see it from the whole sex, sexist perspective because I'm not sexist. But I was trying to see it from, like, the gripes that were non, like, physical and non about the actress that people had about the character. And people were like, she's annoying. I'm like... Not really. You can tell. She, I think the reason you can tell... Yeah. I think... But I think what also helped, too, is that she's very Kaylee for me. And you'll see once you see Firefly, which I'm going to mm-hmm. make you You have to do a review for that. It is so much like... You, you will feel like the Star Wars. It's really good. And it doesn't rip off. It's really good. But... <laughs> shameless plug for Firefly. But anyways, so I think that... What are you doing? I'm moving on close time to sit back. <laughs> You're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> You're like... Okay, continue. <laughs> oh. Ow. Oh. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I, I just kind of saw her as that. She's just so, like, she's just sweet. And she's just trying to, especially because she has a reason. Because people are like, oh, why, didn't you, why would you taste someone? It's like, well, she's just, like, she's not going to take deserters. Because, like, her are just that. Like, it makes sense. But I kind of found that kind of weird. It was, it's, because it could have been avoided. Because Finn could have just explained everything. Like, he could have been, well, yeah, Ray's in danger. Well, not really. No, he did. He's, like, my best friend's in danger. And if, I, if, and we're That all, was after. Like, that was when... That was later, not before she shocked him, was it? No, that was, like, before, yeah, because then he was going to go, but then... Yeah, he could have said that, and then she Well, that, that's what he said. No, but before she stabbed him, because he was like, oh, I'm just cleaning the pot. No, listen to me. Literally, what he says before, and I'm not sure what leads to her actually doing it, because I think he, he eventually just tries to, like, whatever and go, but he literally was, he, like, had said, like, look, like, my friend, like, she's out there, and... We're all, like, we're all, like, in danger. Like, we're all screwed. Like, she, we're doomed here. If she comes back, she'll be doomed, too. 
So Mm -hmm. he was trying to set that up that, like, I have to go out and make sure that this person does not die. And now, yeah, because that was before, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think this whole thing turned around. Jesus Christ. I think we're both getting old. I can't remember anything. Well, I haven't watched it in, like, two months. (laughs) Yep, two months. Oh, Oh, please. I I haven't seen it in a year. The last time I saw it was in theaters, if that puts things into perspective, so. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I just think they could have just handled everything about, I don't, but the thing is, it's like, literally the only reason why I ended up not liking her character was just the end. Yeah, that really ruined it. Like, she was definitely. fine throughout, mm-hmm. and the whole Canto Bite thing, that's kind of a separate from her character, but yeah, she's still like a personal tie to it, so, yeah, but it was just, yeah, that ending, they really just freaked oh, everything God, up. Oh, God, yeah. That was bad. That was bad. It was a really emotional moment for Finn, and then out of the blue, him. yeet! Or something else that made him surprise. I don't know, but like when she just crashed into him, it was just I like face palm. I was like, "Oh my god, what is this?" <laughs> she just smashed into him. It's like, okay, now now you're just trying to save one guy, and now the rest it's of them selfish. are gonna die. It's selfish. It truly is. She's like, "Oh, I want." Mm, I'm not gonna say that, but uh, <laughs> I want some. Oh, mm, Jesus Christ! Just and I'm gonna sacrifice my life, his life, and everybody inside just so I can get it. Mm. So it that's was... very much because like I forgot where the line was because I didn't get to it. But it's like we're not gonna stop whatever by saving what we. I actually thought the line was fine. Well, it it, it was truthful. Let's be honest. It made sense. We're but save the ones we love. And then the uh, most awkward kiss and like it's like okay, this is her. This is Finn. <laughs> yeah, Finn was just like, "What are you doing?" Finn was but not no, it, it made sense. I like the line not because like oh I love you, but like the people that we care for, our friends and whatnot. That part of it made sense. Like, we need to be saving our friends. You know what I mean by that? Mm. By the line? I mean, the line was cringy just because she was like, I love you, Finn. We need to save each other, whatever. But overall, what she was saying is we need to be saving our friends and not just running in. That, 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 that's kind of how I saw the line. I didn't really care. I mean, I didn't really. Yeah, it was bad between the two of them. But yeah. You know what I mean? I think that it would have worked better if... They'd make a her younger. So it, going back to her like a little sister idea. Yeah, that would fit in. Perfectly. But not even just like crash into him and like get. But just maybe like she beats him to the actual reactor and she ends up going. That or she tries to get in front of him and then they crash. I don't like the idea but, of him. I like the idea of still someone at the end of the day having to make a sacrifice. But it's either her or Finn. Like, for Finn, it would have worked, because then that would have really made Rose, like, a fighter, and she would, and the next one, she would be, like, she'd be ready to take down the First Order, because, like, to avenge him. That could have maybe given, like, her and Ray something to bond over, like, him, because yeah. they both really cared for him. Something. That, but, it, I mean, it could work both ways. It could Because really then work she could have sacrificed for Finn. Yes. And, because she's seen all the sacrifice, every, like, her sister and whatnot. And, but. yeah. Exactly. There's so many opportunities. See, the, I don't know, we have these all good ideas, and now it's making me hate this movie even more. Because, like, a lot of it is so obvious. Yeah. Alright, so we should probably get back to Ray and Luke. Their stuff, it just, like, their lesson. I like kind of how resilient he is to train her. And, I mean, we don't, we, at the time, we kind of were told, like, this kind of fibby, whatever. Eventually, you find out why, for real, what happened. But I kind of like that. I kind of like how he's completely disowned the Force, and he has want, he wants nothing to do with it. And I kind of like that. And I like, it's, yeah. How you feel? Well, I, I don't know. It, it's, it, I'm kind of on the boat with, like, if, you know, Vader killed millions of innocent people. But then. He didn't have to. Huh? He didn't have to. We'll no, talk no. about the other but, day. Vader killed lots of people, and Luke still saw good in him, but then when there's a little bit of darkness in Kylo, he's like, well, uh, I'm gonna kill. But it also makes sense, because he just doesn't want to deal with that again, you, you know. Yeah. But it's it's just like, you wanted to save a guy who's literally terrorized the galaxy, but then when there's one kid that has a little bit of darkness in him, you're just gonna kill him? Like. Well, it was just... It, so I'm kind of on that boat, but... You know, I, I kind of see it from his perspective. I'm like, oh, crap, not this. Not, not, this, not again. this again. Let's just end yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, but that would have been a bad choice anyway, because then Han and Leia would have been like, get out of here, Luke. You killed our son. You know, that... Wait. Oh, okay, never mind. I was I was thinking if, they, if he had, I thought you were saying if he had chosen not to train him. It's like Leia was like, 
I don't think she wanted it. And they were like, Han was Han about it. Which makes yeah. sense. I doubt that he would be too into it either. <clears throat> so it makes you wonder, like, oh, why did they have him? But yeah, and so that's just kind of how I thought. I was just like, it's a weak, weak point of the story. And it was just kind of like, really? What did you think? Okay, and then, oh, I kind of skipped over some stuff. Oh, well, this is kind of in... We're kind of in, near the same. So, okay, Ray's characterization. I had a lot of problems with her. Such a flat character. She's so not interesting at all. No, like, yeah, I, if she died in the next movie right at the beginning, if she just got hit by, like, a, okay. a bus or something, I, I wouldn't care. <laughs> it would just be like, oh, oh she's dead. She, it's Because we don't know anything about her past. We have no connections with... Yeah, keep going. We don't have any connections to make, like, oh, like, that's Obi-Wan's granddaughter. Wow, she's special. I or anything else. that, anyways. Well, I'm just, for example. But, like, we don't know anything about her, so it's just like, oh, this is a random girl, picks up a lightsaber and kicks a dude that's been training his whole life. Like, wow, that's stupid. There's no reason that we've been shown. And she's such a boring character, too. Like, she doesn't she... have anything interesting. She's done nothing to earn what she has. I thought she worked better in the first and The Force Awakens, just because... Yeah. I don't know. I just think, because she's so, like, bubbly and, like, whatever, and she works really well with Finn. Mm -hmm. But then it kind of shows that then when those two characters are apart, one is really cartoony and whatever, and one is just bland. So it really shows how much they, they need to get together. Mm -hmm. Which I'm a firm believer that that will happen, because I hope it does. But, yeah, so... Rhea's done nothing to earn what, what she has. Well, she's, it's all handed to her, which is... Exactly. ...static character development. Not... Not... Yeah. Oh, and I have to get... Okay, so during this one part... During the one part where she he she's out on the rock, and then he's like... Uh, I forgot what he said, but I was just... <laughs> uh, oh, he's I was like, like, do you feel the force? <laughs> well, not that. That part I actually thought was kind of funny. Her reaction <laughs> to it was like... Like, it was just kind of dumb, but I like that part where he's just like, you feel it? You feel that's the voice? And then she's yeah. like, I can feel it. I kind of thought that was, like, kind of funny. But, um, so, no, but it's during the part where he's like, there's, I forget what he says, but he, like, gives her, like, this command, and I'm like, mmm, because he's like, you know, it was weird, because then he's like, go stand that rock with your legs crossed, and I was like, what, oh. do, you, what do you want? <laughs> you want, oh, like, I one time, my mom was like. Well, I mean, he hasn't. Never no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, but then, okay, so one thing I put, insert shots, during the brief scene. So there's this one, so he's like, I, like, she's like, I feel light, I feel life, I feel darkness. But, like, for each thing that she says, we see, like, a visual component with it. Like, we see, like, the, the plants. Growing. Yeah, we saw that. I'm like, that's so not, that was just weird. The editing was janky as hell in this movie. It was so, especially that, just, like, we never, because usually, because, like, when Luke was, like, meditating, he, like, he's like, I feel cold. We don't see, like, an icicle. But, but, um, but he, or, or see Hoth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luke fall play face plant in the snow. <laughs> I feel cold. <laughs> we should make an edit of that. Oh, my God. Uh, and she says that and have Luke, yeah, we should make an edit of that. That'd be so funny. Cold. Um, uh, no, but we don't even, like, <laughs> but we don't, like, during the part where he's meditating, where he's, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 For real? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, it's so long. <laughs> <laughs> we were just noticing the time. But, yeah, we'll, we'll get, we'll kind of do a little, not like a full wrap up. I think we got... <laughs> That's it. We should have made a commentary track or something, because this is what this ended up being. Well, it was less of a debate, more of a just like a whatever. Well, it fits into our, our podcasting. I feel anyway. cold. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. But, like, when he's, like, on his headstand, like, when Yoda's training him, like, we don't see, like, when he's, like, like I see my friends or whatever. We don't see, like, a shot of them. Yeah. And it's, like, they're in the clouds. We don't see the shot of clouds. That's what it was, basically. It's, like, okay, like, the audience is smart, okay? smart enough <laughs> but like we don't need everything we know what life out. means we know what darkness means we don't need to see the also the on to the janky editing when like the water like squirts up at her and it's like this reverse thing it looks like an effect someone did on instagram <laughs> it looks <laughs> so sh crap i it was... feel cold snow cone <laughs> Just... 
No, it looked so weird. And, like, it didn't make any sense because where was that water coming from? Because, like, she wasn't, like, on the shore where, like, water could have, like, hit her or whatever. She was, like, on, like, this cliffside away from the water. And then just, like, this... <laughs> looked so bad. And she was all... She was all, um... Wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, just like, it was just a weird effect. There's such a janky editing, but I kind of like how she was so, like, in, like, it was so intense that, like, like the rock started cracking and, like, Luke couldn't get her out of it. Like, that, I'm like, damn, she's powerful. I like that. I did like the scene when, when like, the snapping and, like, the, the weird Nero stuff. Yeah. Yeah, good sound. Good sound. Although I was part. very disappointed when it was, like, show me my parents and there was a shadow. That was such an F you to the audience. I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> It would have been actually a good place to put her actual. Like, who who would you want them? To, who would I don't know. I mean, just whoever it was, it would have been good to put their. See, face like a face. Them. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like. I think that kind of shows that, like, they are no one. No, I love that romantic line that Kyle says, where it's like, "You're you came from nothing. You are nothing, but not to me." <laughs> oh, I ship them so much. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, random water spout and just hater. It was weird. There's a lot of weird edits like that. Mm. Um, <laughs> janky editing. Literally my next thing. Yes, I no. got it. Okay, and then, um, four Skype calls. That's a plus. I actually like those. Where, it's like, interesting. It was very interesting. It's something we haven't really seen before. Mm. Like, fine, you don't, like, not everything needs to be a subversion. You can just show us new things. I mean. Uh -huh. Flying Leia. Okay, that was new and exciting and worked well. <laughs> yeah, uh, exciting. <laughs> Yeah, that was dumb. That was so dumb. <laughs> but, uh, four Skype calls. I thought those were very neat. And even, like, the one subtlety of, like, the water on his glove. Mm. That was really neat. I kind of was like, oh, The only one I didn't like was when he had, like, his pulled up <laughs> pants. And it's like, and she's like, it's a bad time. And it's like, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> He's got these high rise pants. Oh, God. Ben Swolo. It looks like he had, like, boobs. Like, like. <laughs> And we're not okay. Adam Driver, you sexy bastard. You well, are if, hot. if his pants were lower, it would have look looked fine. better. Yeah, it just it just made guy. him stand out. I was like, oh, because anyone with high rise pants up to their chest looks weird. It makes their entire torso look long and weird. Yeah, and wide. I don't He's know why they chose guy. that. Y'all, what? Okay, don't actually. I was gonna tell. I was like, don't watch Girls because that's a god awful show. Oh. But oh, it's bad. He's good on it, but it's bad. <laughs> um. I like what he's... <laughs> okay, I'm, never mind. I'm not going to repeat that. I don't know how clean you're trying to keep this, but I was thinking of a serious scene. If you've seen Girls, you, you know what I'm talking about. That's a funny scene. Oh, no, never mind. Did you <laughs> put that first on SoundCloud yet? I don't know. <laughs> um, but, yeah. What was that? Yeah, we'll get to it. And next. <laughs> but, yeah, so I just think... Because he's a fit guy. Like, I gotta show we see him straight. Yeah, I'm sure. He's really, like, if anything, he's just really skinny. Yeah. Like, he's just really gay. Well, it just made him look big and, like, ch well, God, it was only because of the pants. It was terrible. Choice. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Jeez. Okay, so, um, yeah, so it's just very, <laughs> it's interesting. It, 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 made his, it made his tits look cute. <laughs> made it look like he had tits. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying to body shame him because I know he gets a lot of flex. Like on Twitter, everyone will call him ugly, and I'm like, leave him alone. He's not ugly. Like, to, I would, I would hit it. <laughs> like, just give him some facial. God, give him some facial hair, and you're there. You don't need to sell me on it. He's beautiful. <laughs> but um, so I just think that yeah, he's very. I was a very. Was, anyone would look bad with that. Anyone. <laughs> Ryan Gosling. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ryan Gosling would have looked bad with high-rise pants. <laughs> like, I don't know. But anyways, so, um... Next we have Canto Bite. I don't think we need to explain that. I don't think we need to explain that. That was awful. That was so bad. Well, it, was, it just took away from the main goal. Because then they were finding these, like, horse things. Like, what was the point I of that? And they were, like, whipping kids and stuff. I have like, a comparison. I have a comparison. You've seen season two of Stranger Things, right? Yep. Okay. People, not really a big spoiler, but it, it kind of coincides with this. So, um, remember that one episode in season two where Eleven goes off on, like, her little adventure and it's all about her? 
That's exactly what this felt like. It was this whole detract from the main yeah. story. Because, just, yeah. And so, because they're at Hawkins and they're trying to, like, because the demi dogs get out. And then, and then at the end of the episode, it's like this plot hole, or it's this plot cliffhanger. And so then the next episode is about Eleven. And she's off with, like, her gang stealing tampons or whatever. It's so weird. It's so out of the left field. Like, what? Yeah. We didn't need this. And then she just ends up just going back to Hawkins anyways. Mm-hmm. What the heck? Well, yeah. I mean, kid, yeah. Can't the bike could have been fine, like, to find the dude. But then they had to do all this riding the horses through the <laughs> town and so... saving the children, whatever else they did. It was kind of just pointless. And then getting thrown in jail and finding DJ, that was all random. Why didn't they just go up to the guy and... It was, it was all because they parked in the wrong spot. Pretty, pretty much. That's the main Otherwise, source of conflict. they wouldn't have got knocked down by the police. They could have went up to the guy and be like, hey, yo, we need your help. Maz has got you. Or whatever. Like, Maz is buddy. And it could have been over. That could have been it. And they could have did something else with another, to fill in time or whatever. Yeah, like, it's just like a time filler. It just kind of felt like they got so many positive things about the force awakens and how many practical effects they used that this was like oh we're gonna show off all these cool practical aliens because there was a lot of those oh, there i had to have the cantina scene again yeah pretty much that, that, that's exactly what it was and i'm like just having like the mess hall of this ship where everyone's crying and trying to send a hologram to their loved ones because they want because they're not gonna make it god <laughs> that would have been my cantina scene but it's just back on the ship and everyone's like oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, sweetie. Yeah, they didn't have to make it as long as it, because it really didn't affect it was anything. Like a, it was like a B-plot. It was like this whole other thing that didn't to, like, be. build Finn and Rose, but it didn't anyways. <laughs> it... I like her little sister idea. Yeah. That's some good stuff, me. Oh, God. That well, makes me hate this movie so much. I'll have to write something for that. Um, so I thought it was kind of interesting set up. It's, this is back when... Oh, God. I forget how... I think it's when Luke's trying to, like, really go in-depth as to why... As to what happened. Like, he ran off with... So, like, telling what happened at the temple. And he's, like, saying, like, oh, he... Kylo ran off with these other, like, knights. So I was like, oh, so nice to Ren. Yeah. Is that common knowledge? <laughs> okay, never mind. I thought I was a I smart know. boy. Well, I don't know. Was... What? Who are the Knights of Ren? Are they, like, other Jedi that were like, hey, let's no, join No, because it was him. in, like, Ray's vision with all those people. Well, I know, but, like, were they also Jedi that defected with them? Yeah, or what the heck? Ha- random hoping, guys? I thought we were going to see them, like, yeah, unless that big rain plant is what our final thing will be, like, the big battle at the end, but, like, I don't know. Well, it's, well, the Knights of Ren is interesting because we don't have a beginning for them. We don't have an end. Like, they just, it's just going to be this random thing that like that won't have an end to it and i hate that well it's weird that they made no appearance because even like you and the knights of ren will do whatever whatever yeah snoke, said, snoke knows like, about them well i think I it's think. like his Who married, are they? it's like his motley crew of like just pe- like his own homies like i think that's kind of what it is and but where do they come from that's the question i yeah i don't know <laughs> but i'd like to think that they're like this Maybe they're ex Jedi, but they didn't have but lightsabers. They, yeah, I was about to say they even had like the sticks and. But maybe they're like he's kind of started like this kind of like, cause his whole ideology in the first one was like it was all like praising Vader yeah. and praising what the dark side of the Force was. So maybe that was like, their like dark side. Like maybe that was like he was trying to start their own dark side, mm. and it was like trying to be that because the four because people get confused. Um, the First Order that's just like, that's like a revival of the Empire. They don't necessarily represent the dark side. Well, I mean, they're evil, and that's they're what the dark evil, side but, is. But... but, like, the Empire and the Sith, they're separate. Right. So I was thinking that the Knights of Ren, that's, like, the new Sith. That's what I wanted it to be. But now, it's got to be this whole unanswered thing that we probably won't get closure on. Well, I'm hoping we do, because that's JJ's thing. That's JJ's piece they introduced, so maybe. Yeah, Ryan probably didn't care about it at all, so, <laughs> yeah. But, um, what is that? The washer. Okay, I was like, I thought, I thought that was because sometimes you know you get ringing in your ear. Yeah. I thought I was like, what the heck did I run and run into today? Oh jeez. Oh, another thing. Trim the fat. No, I'm not talking about the fat that's spilling over <laughs> Adam Driver's <laughs> pants because his Stop. pants are tucked up too tight. No, I'm talking about the plot fat. Trim out all this canto bite stuff. Yeah. Trim out all these things. Just trim it. You don't need it to be like. Because that's when the movie, because the movie's almost three hours. Yeah. Like, Infinity 
Well, that's what I'm saying. The Cantabite stuff, they didn't need the they horse They did not part. need all this nonsense. They didn't need to get thrown in jail. Like, maybe we could have gotten, like, one sentence, like, this was my home from, like, Rose. Like, this is where me and my sister had to grow up. We didn't need, like, them liberating the people. Yeah, and like, tearing maybe, up a town. and like, like, maybe it would have been a sad part. Like, we have to go. We can't. Like, soon we, we yeah. will be able to come back, but we can't do this now. And then they could have did a TV show or a book or something okay, else with that. Okay, all right, mister. But they didn't have to show it in the movie. Yeah. It could have just been a co- point of conflict for Rose because maybe she wanted to stay and she's like, no, I'm going to help these kids. But, like, but Finn's like, no, we have to get back. We can't. Like, some other time we'll be able to get to it. They could have had it be that. But no. We could even fix in something to that, like, with the little sister thing, too, with that Finn kind of guiding her and whatnot. But... Yeah, it's like, oh, she has to listen to him. Mm-hmm. God, that would have been so good. I hate everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, trim the fat. Yeah. Uh, Ben Swolo. Oh, because this is all in sequential order, so I think we got everything that's on my sheet. Um, because as a quick refresher, I passed out. So I did, I was like, I was like, I'm not gonna make it. And so, yeah, mm-hmm. the last thing I remember was DJ. Oh, we didn't talk about DJ, but that guy. Ha! Yeah. No, 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 no. I thought it was stupid how he was a traitor. It was just like thrown in there, like yeah. No, my favorite line of his is like when he's like, "I will sneak you into the Cincinnati's boudoir." I was like, "What the fuck is this?" It was so weird, and I love Benicio del Toro as much as the next girl. I'm not sure why he, he's, he's. I really like him as an actor, but um, what was that? That was clearly like an acting choice. The whole. Sound like a rat. Yeah. And he looked like one too. He looked like. He looked <laughs> yeah, bad. yeah, it was like this rat they all had on. <laughs> it looked oh, bad. God. Like, Benicio, I know you're trying to get those checks because you, you're dead in Marvel. So, mm-hmm. yeah, he, he's the collector. He's that guy. Yeah. Oh, you know, okay. <laughs> I don't know what your extent of knowledge is, but I know you're trying to collect, cash in those Disney, that dis, that good Disney money, you know? Oh, I know you're trying to get that, but. No, this is not. Stick to Sicario. Well, Don't again, it, it's just with like the Cantabite stuff. It was just unneeded. It was really, it was just like, oh god, we need to talk about Phasma. No, you were always scum, rebel scum. Ba-da-ba. I think their deleted scene would have been a lot better. Yeah. Because like the stormtroopers, Finn was like, hey, guess what? She blew up the freaking base. Hey! Yeah, and then, okay. like, she shoots them all out. It was cool. Well, if we have to talk about the Utsu, we have to talk about the Rose Bit Hugs. <laughs> Wait, what? You didn't see that? I don't remember it. Pull that up. Pull that up right oh, now. Geez. We have a little intern with us right now. Oh, God. You have she... to see it. You didn't see that? I probably did, but I don't remember it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. She, <laughs> she's like this rabid animal. I'm like, I was just trying to, like, snap <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a live reaction of the... The hot, okay. Okay, we're gonna watch it now. Oh god, yeah. He's like, hey. Feels weird. She's like, <laughs> oh god. The heck? Oh, oh, that's very awkward. Watch. <laughs> oh my god, she's like, ah! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm glad that didn't make it in the movie. That was cringy. <laughs> I'm glad that didn't make it in the movie, though. That was cringy. Yeah, you can see that. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> He's like, oh. Oh, that close is weird. Okay, wait, watch it again. Watch and he again. puts his finger out for her to bite, too. <laughs> the stormtrooper's like, I'm She's like, he's like, he can hurt. Yeah. Thank that, you, that Carter. That was cringy as heck. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> rabbit dog when like it's like in Cujo when like you don't know anything that I talk about that's a classic Stephen King read the book don't watch the movie but it's like in the movie when like the dog's like attacking them they just like kick the dog to, like get the dog out of oh, the so <laughs> okay so basically, back to Phasma they could have done well they she was said a, they were gonna do more with her and then boom what, they did she, I think it's like the only scene that she's in until they find her it's so weird well yeah it's oh, like right, she okay. It's he just a- shows out. It was cool looking. So the staff and Finn, uh, that was a good fight between those two, but it didn't last long enough. It wasn't emotional. They weren't talking about anything. It was like, ooh, come here, b- b- bucket face, or whatever he said to her. Oh, Chrome yeah. Dome. Chrome That's Dome. Like- <laughs> oh, Lord. But, like, they could have said other stuff, like, I don't know. 
and he could have. You were always scum. He could have turned Phasma over, and she could have been like a mother figure to. to oh my Rose. god! Okay, we're <laughs> not making a goddamn family out of this. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> But he could have tried to sway her over or something, but nope, he just ended up hitting her and she just blew it up, blew up again. Watch her come back again. I swear, no, the bitch is dead. <laughs> She's not coming back. <laughs> oh, I swear. Well, because the big difference between the book and the movie is she was, she was hecka strong in the book. Like, she I'm was, sorry, I haven't read the book. No, I know, but when I, I'm, I'm informing you. She was crazy in the book. He just slaughtered everyone in her path. In this movie, well, in these two movies, she sucks. <laughs> She's bad. She's bad. She can't even shoot any. I don't even. We haven't even seen her shoot any bullets. She shot like three at BB-8 stupid Walker thing, and that was dumb too. Oh, I'm riding a Walker, and I got arms sticking out all over fixing Poe's ship. BB-8 was stupid in this movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> and he was a slot machine too. I'm gonna shoot coins. Everybody. What was BB-8's problem in this movie? <laughs> oh um, God. Uh, they should make a toy where you like press his head and it shoots out coins. <laughs> make a toy when he has a bunch of spider legs yeah you can it can be like a multi-feature thing and you can <laughs> pull out his arms and they like, extend and they'll be like that thin and make then... a bb-8 nightstick <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. lord and not even that but the fact that they have to like have the thing like the not the lid of like the walker but like the shell of it to show that he's in it oh look it's bb-8 <laughs> it was so dumb it was so Oh, you know what's even dumber is they're selling a Lego set. It comes oh, with just scene. the thing, but it doesn't have the headpiece. It's like you're buying a walker without a head. <laughs> Who would want to pay money for that? Oh. Oh, oh. my God. But anyway, that Phasma scene was pretty cool, but other than it's The fight was kind of neat. Yeah. The, other than that, it was like, uh. And when she, like, was just standing there and he's like, yeet, and punched her in her. It was cool we got to see her eyes, but that was kind of cool, too, but it's. That's so. That's the most we're gonna see of Gwendolyn Christie. Oh, poor lady. Brienne. Just think how much training she had to do for like one scene too. Oh, she's she she. She got the money though. No, she's buff as hell. You haven't seen Game of Thrones. She whoops ass and get. You need to see Game of Thrones if you want to see her. She is a badass, and I, I love you. Uh, but um, that was mine. So uh, but I think that um, the it the film. Oh, we didn't even talk. I thought that the Ray and Kylo. Yeah, that's so. Dude, why? It's just BB. That's so. Yeah, at least, he doesn't even come with the head thing. Like, what a waste. At yeah. least have that thing maybe get, like pop off or something. Oh yeah, it's like then you could have it. You could use it as a walker too. Whatever. But anyway, away from Legos. <laughs> we um, didn't talk about crate yet. I'm getting the crate. I'm gonna talk about the Rain Kylo battle. Oh the yeah, fight. I yeah. thought that was badass. That was cool. That was very. It was very well shot. It looks so. I hate. I swear to God, I hate that so much. I thought it was very well shot, and I thought, um, and I thought the whole yeah, uh, it really showed um, just how, how but like the new stuff that they're trying to do because we haven't really yeah. seen that. Like it's true that we don't get a lightsaber one on one battle in this one, but we. Oh, sorry. I thought you were like saying. I was like, Ooh, what? Um, but I thought that um, that was very unique. It was cool to see, like, the red, just the colors of it, like, the whole composition of it, just, like, the red and the blue, like, not clashing and just, like, you know, working together. Yeah. That whole, like, role. Okay. The balance of. I don't ship them. I want that to preface. <laughs> I want to say that to preface this before I say it, this, but, um, I, uh, how do I say this without? I did think that if the characterization was better and they didn't have the whole mind rape scene in The Force Awakens, that, like, that scene made me feel really weird. Um, I feel like a romance could have been good between them if they didn't have reasons to want to murder each other. Well, if they would have set them up better, then... Or to try to murder each other. Because, like, because they've already tried to murder each other and they hate each other. She's like, you're a monster. Like, no one wants... Like, if you're calling... No one wants to fall in love with a monster. Except your bell from Beauty and the Beast. But that was in, like, The Force Awakens. In this movie, it's just, she's like, oh, come here, Kylo, of, join me. We're if gonna... they had built the romance better, maybe it's like... Maybe they were communicating... I don't know, because that's where this is introduced. Never mind. But if they had some sort of connection, somehow, that wasn't familial, and that wasn't like, I'm gonna de- reach into the deepest corners of your mind and torture you from within weirdness and throw you against a tree weirdness and slice slice up your face 
weirdness and purposely scar your face weirdness it wasn't fun you need attention <laughs> oh oh I, I love that she whooped his ass in the first one. Oh, that was so it made funny. no sense but it was still funny well, it, no 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 everyone's gonna listen listen they both were inexperienced they both didn't know what they were doing but Kylo, Kylo had years of experience and training, and Rey, all she had was a stick hitting invisible characters in the sand. What do you mean? What if they had never really sparred? Because, like, as the That's Jedi, fine. they a lot of that experience. Well, Kylo slaughtered the Jedi. I'm sure he had plenty of time there. Well, because he was all he was running on the dark side, like no. he was he was fueled by rage. And but whatever. still, but he, he was technically also, has more experience. No, but it. he was like, a that probably all went to nothing after like because you know, that's like a muscle you can't let that thing atrophy you need to work it out but um it's yeah i don't think that could, and that, that could be a valid thing but like you have to keep in mind that both ray and kylo are very like high like them specifically like are very exceptional like force users and like they are very strong so you have to keep that in mind when you're like comparing the two because like they're both on like god not god tier but like they're not like Yoda or whatever, but like, they're both very like, compared to Ahsoka or someone. They're probably they could probably like outdo her or something. Oh, I doubt it. Ahsoka could kick them both. At no, the that's same just time. your that's that's your that's your you know talking. But like, their force powers are powerful. But like, they're sparring. I don't think they're that strong. Right. But I... but it still would make sense that. Kylo would be stronger there because he is more focused with the force. Yeah. But I guess his emotions could have gotten in the way at the end of that scene. But okay, so I know I know everyone's like the Praetorian Guards or whatever they're rip offs of the Royal Guards, which they are. But something I noticed is another little thingy with the Kaylee thing. Oh my god, they could have made her a Kaylee and they could have made her the little sister. We need to talk about that. I know, but I'm still saying. <laughs> Let me think about that all night. But, um, I noticed that they're, like, for the whole, like, for the guards, specifically on Canto Bite, like, the kind of, like, the, the guards that were, like, at the event or whatever, and they, they show them off, so it's not like, oh, it's an Easter egg, but, like, even the Praetorian guards, they had, like, this kind of samurai look to yeah. them. Did you notice that? Mm. I was like, okay, that's Well, and they're, like, weapons, too. Like, shoo, they're, like, shoo, staffs. Shoo. They're not, like, pew, pew, pew. Right, yeah. I actually really dug that, and I thought that was a very unique style to go with. Like, it's, Star Wars has always kind of had this, like, Asian aesthetic, just with, like, like, the whole samurai, because especially, and, yeah. well, not so much that, but more like, like, what Vader looked the like. The fighting and stuff. The, f oh. Well, like, no. Kind, not really, but, like, how Vader looked like in Ralph McQuarrie's, like, concept art. Mm -hmm. Like, he looked, he had this very samurai, and that's what they had said they had gone for, and I'm like, that's very interesting. And then kind of see that reflected in, like, a different way in these new films. I thought that was kind of, that was very unique, and I was like, that's really cool. Um, but, so, yeah, so, uh, so now we get on to Crate, which is a salt planet. <laughs> it's salt. They had to make that very clear in Gareth Edwards' little cameo. Yeah, he's like, huh, huh. I'm not <laughs> like wearing a, a helmet. I love how Redline Media pointed that yeah. out. They're like, no one wants to see you, you cracker. Well, um, they, didn't they, it wasn't it them that said, like, he should be wearing a helmet, too? Like, yeah, why aren't you wearing a them? helmet? You're, yeah. Mm. You love them. A whole bunch of other cameos were in it, too. Like, um... Justin Theroux? And, like, what, what's her name? Like, Ellie Golding or something. She was in it? It was, like, one scene. Yeah. Really? She, like, popped up, like, like for a second. Yeah. Really? In the... In Carter, the... can you fact check this real quick? Yeah, look it up. <laughs> please. <clears throat> I'm gonna say please, because I'm nice. But anyway... The, uh, well, because she even said something about it publicly. She was like, ah, I'm sorry. I don't Lord. pay attention to her PR. Well, I don't either. Ever since she broke up with Skrillex. Oh, God, they were together? <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were notoriously God. together. I think they were music I've only there. heard, like, one of her songs. All I know is that... <gasps> I remember... Dude, Ellie Goulding is... I love her overseas. Are you kidding me? I heard, like, the... Let it burn, burn, and song. You didn't hear lights? I, you know, I probably have, but I don't remember. You didn't hear... Well, let's, we'll have a, a music <laughs> thing after this. We should do a music, uh discussion podcast like comment in the comment section if you want to see that um yeah anyway if you can't find anything don't worry about it i was just really curious we have a little we have this little mini like intern that's like been looking he looked up the uh the lego. Rose, yeah the lego and then the rose bite thing anyway back to crates so um 
And they thought, oh, we're going to subvert expectations by putting the, the white planet at the end of the movie. Oh, my God. Like, that makes as big of a difference. It still feels like Empire, yeah, regardless of where you put it in the film. Yeah, and it was dumber because the walkers were bigger and better. <laughs> like, they always try to do it was cool with the red stuff, though, like when the things were going. The visual better. aspect yeah. of that was really neat, but then they could have made the soil or whatever, the salt, like any other color, and it would have been fine. Yeah, they should have made it more, maybe maybe even gray or like... Gray or something to d- make it more distinct than like Hoth. Because that's what, cause if you see walkers on a white planet, you're going to think Hoth. Yeah, well, if you see they, a deserty planet without any other like whatever, you're gonna think Tatooine. Well, they could have even did like some blue like sand or something. Well, because they have some crazy stuff like. No, oh, yeah. Like Felucia, like they have some crazy stuff. I mean, like Genosis is like red, like or like, orange. Then make but it just black could've... and make it look like Solus, except with lava. It's like. That red dust stuff. They could have did. I like the like aesthetic that. though. Yeah, I, I I like the red dust stuff, but they could have. Yeah, I see where they could have changed the white color mm-hmm. to something else. Oh, they're resistant. They're resistant. Michaela Cole! Oh my god! She is awesome. Oh, the USS McAllister. Oh my god. Anyways, so, um, so yes, thank you for looking that up. I'll have to look up, like, if they have, someone took, like, screen caps of it, because I actually want to see. I think I noticed Michaela, though, but whatever. Um, so, yeah. So then the whole rose, the... Oh, worst scene of the movie. You just said that that line was beautiful. No, and I said I like the line in terms of that, but but when she crashes into him, that's the worst part right there. Like he's about to make a, a good sacrifice. It was emotional. You could see in in his face even out of the blue. Whoa, yay! So there they go in a crumbling pit of like pile of death over there, and then they're just sitting there, and they somehow get back to the base, even though there's yeah, walkers tramping them. Yeah, how would they so. have not, like, gotten shot? Well, apparently everybody was too busy with the, the fake Luke Skywalker, so, I don't know. <laughs> I did oh. like the part when Luke showed up with, in, with Leia. Cause, cause no, was, no, but, but with Leia, when he gave her the dice. That was sweet, yeah. that was sweet. But it was always apparent that he wasn't real. And I know that was supposed to be the big shock, because, like, when he stuck his lightsaber, like, oh! But it's like, it was well, always you obvious that... the Anakin saber... And then he wasn't... Which we saw it just got broken. Yeah. And, apparent, and he looked younger, and apparently he didn't have footsteps. I didn't notice he didn't that. Have foot, but... Yeah, he didn't have footsteps. And, um, yeah, and he, he looked younger, and he, yeah, but it was... And it's like, well, how'd he get there? Oh, that reminds me, in that scene with the Millennium Falcon. Oh, they made the dish break off again. Wait, what? Yeah, it got broken off when they were in that, like, Chewie was flying through that red cave thing. And then the stupid porgs getting up against the window. I'm mean, oh, right in your face. Buy them tonight. Target, they're out. You know, like when they smash against the screen. Oh, oh yeah, I believe. Maybe she got cut then, but I believe that she's in it. I just don't. I, I remember seeing it with Ma- Michaela, I think. She's kind of hard to miss. Not saying she's, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful, strong black woman, and I take none of those. Dang it. But she, she well, I remember me, seeing a blonde woman. Ellie Golding is blonde, right? No, she's actually a brunette. Oh, well. I remember seeing a blonde rebel soldier pop out for like 10 seconds. Well, uh, 5 seconds. When they're in the cave. But who cares? That doesn't matter. Where were we? Oh, yeah. We were talking about the stupid porgs again. That's when they got in your face. That's when they got annoying, but and I they thought... they were like climbing all over Chewy. Like, Jesus. <laughs> I loved when... Uh... <laughs> This was actually one bit of humor that worked for me. And I actually really liked it. Because it was very... It was, it was self... I know. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> it's self-aware. It's a, I like self-aware humor when, like, things, like, Marvel does this. Eh, kind of. Ah. Yeah. When, sorry. Oh, uh, when, like, Marvel. Well, not really Marvel, but, like, I don't know. I like when people can recognize that their own stuff is dumb. I like huh? that. It, it gets, I don't know. It, it gets my respect more. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Dab on them. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, I like that. And, um, I kind of like how when, um, so, Kyla, this, I think this is before the battle, or be, the one-on-one duel with Kylo and Luke, but Kylo's, like, in, like, the walker, and then, like, I think, like, Hux barks like this man, like, kill them all or something, and he's just kind of looking at them like, the fuck? And it is so funny every time. Oh my god. He's just, like, Adam Driver, I wonder if that was, I doubt that, I think the look may have been improvised, but I think the line was, like, real, but then, like, he just, cause, like, it's so, like, 
Oh, I love it. It's so funny, dude. Oh my, <laughs> that's the one bit of humor. I was like, that's, that's so funny. Because like they always make these like admiral characters like Hitler. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. They make him insane. I love that. Where it's just like, like even like the main head honcho who's supposed to be like leading this, he's just like, take it down a notch. Damn, <laughs> it's really funny. I thought that worked. Well, then Kylo was like, take that junk out of the sky. <laughs> that he over exaggerated that. That was, geez, was he was like screaming. He was like, yeah, I'm not gonna reenact it again. Wait, what does he say when he's battling with Luke? He like screams something else. Right on. Okay. <laughs> no. no, that wasn't the first one. <laughs> <laughs> you need to take it. Or he's like, oh, constantly. God. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Kylo so much. He's such a great character. <laughs> what yeah. does he say? It's going to drive me nuts all night. Go finish watching the movie. Absolutely not. I can't make myself. But, so yeah, we get the whole Rose thing, and then they all escape. Ray floats, makes the rocks go, whee, and then... Oh, that's so stupid. Why did you think that was stupid? Yeah, that was... It was the floating rocks thing from earlier. Oh, wow. It was a callback. And Luke disappears, which is stupid. Why would he have died from that? Because it was t- it was <laughs> his nut face. Because he's just like... <laughs> when he's on the when he's on Octo, they cut back to him, and he's like... Yeah, it was so random. It, what? I don't know. I think that, uh, and especially because no one succeeds in this movie. Like, everyone, they're basically back where they started. They literally have, like, six people oh, left. No! <laughs> oh, yeah. They literally have, like, six people left in the Rebels team. What, what do they have? They have Leia. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. <laughs> Leia. They won't have her anymore. She's dead. Remember, they're bringing stuff from the... Oh my god, Anthony. You don't know what they mean by that. They mean that they have footage from... They're not going to resurrect her. She's still no. going to be dead. You don't know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's basically No, but I was going to name the characters that are still alive in the story. What they got going right now. Right? I know what in the doing. resistance. But what they're going to do for that, you don't understand what they mean by that. Because it's not like they're, they're not going to pull a Peter Cushing... Where they make Grandma Tarkin. Well, yeah, they're not going to make her walk around CGI. But they're but not. she's still going to be in the film. But that's. You don't understand. She's, they're going to they're gonna use. No, listen to me. Listen to me. They're going to just use, like. They'll probably make it, like, hologram footage. Where, like. But, yes. I don't think so. But they're not going to make it. She's not going to be an active character within the story because she's, she's passed away in real life. Well, I know, but she's still alive in the Star Wars story. That we know of as of now, but she's not. I, they're gonna kill her off. They have to, because how else are they gonna use that character? We're, we're just, or what? We're just not gonna see her. Like it's not. It's not gonna work. But um, we can just right now. As of now, she's alive. But I'm just gonna assume that she's gonna be dead for the next one. Well, I don't know. But anyway, what I was saying is they have like five people left in the. Yeah, what the, Carter just showed us. Yeah, yeah. So there's not that many people left. They're not doing so hot. Yeah, they they're right back where they started. Well, the it. same thing is going to happen again. Is we're just going to get a whole bunch of more forces. It's like going to be like, oh, two years later. Oh, my God, they got a big base. Look at that. I hope in that two, I, I hope there's a time jump. That's really the only way how I can see I don't see want them. a time jump at all. Not like a significant one, but like two years. No, no. Yes. I want like not even like. Yes. No. What are you ta- then how do you want this to resume? Because like, what's the point of this movie then? We shot, we saw their defeat. What are we going to do? Pop up two years. Oh, they got their base back. It's just. Gonna no, be- maybe it can just be more like ragtag. Not so much like they won't ever have the same status. Maybe they return back to whatever capital planet was based off of. Like maybe they're just trying to regoop, recruit, <laughs> regoop, like recoup. But then that's exactly it. Why would it be two years? Then it would be right after that. It'd be like, okay, well now. No, we don't need to see options. all of that. We don't need to. See, that's not that. That in no way will influence the plot. We don't need to have them on the same level. That they, and, I mean, God dang it! You don't understand what I'm trying to say. They don't need to be, like the like. I I kind of like if they're more like indiscreet and more like kind of under the radar. Like they have to go like more covert. Like, I like that. Like, we don't need to see them. Like, because odds are they're not going to have the same amount of guys. They right. won't. In my idea, they wouldn't. They would still have, like, maybe a couple more. Maybe be in league with, like, the Bloods Hell will probably see DJ again. Probably have oh, Maz Kanata's forces. <laughs> but, um, so we'll get Maz again. We'll get Lando. Like, we can get different 
people. We can bring them in. And then we have two years past. <gasps> what if they go back to Bespin as their cool. base? That'd be cool. That'd yeah. be cool. Yeah. And uh, we can see, yeah, we can see all that. And then within that amount of time, like, Brain Finn could have had at least, like, what, like, let's see, nine months. Like, at least two kids. <laughs> if they were consistent. But, um, probably more than that. Because nine months, there's 12 months in a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just thinking that would probably be the best. Because then Kylo, he would have definitely been able to have grown a beard by then. <laughs> um, uh, Rose would have. She, I hope they just kind of, I hope they change her hairstyle for the life. I can't stand, it's just so ugly. She's not ugly, she's really pretty, but the hair, it just, I hate it. <laughs> like, I don't know, they need to just work, they really need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> they just, <laughs> they just need to fix everything. JJ, you need to clean up yours and Ryan's messes. I ain't counting you out of this. You, <laughs> you started this. You form. started this, so you need to finish it. As <laughs> as the great boy, the great thick, big titty oh. boy, Kylo Ren once said, "I will finish what, what you, you started." <laughs> I think it's. I think. I, I hope episode nine is gonna be great, but I don't think. <laughs> I think it's just gonna make it even worse. I'm trying. You know what? I mean, I'm trying to be happy. I want it to be good. I'm trying to be positive about it. I think it, it. it could be good. It, in it, the, it could in the perfect world. See, I have more faith in it now that they got... Because I think they had the... I think they had the Jurassic World guy doing it. But then they got JJ. So I'm more... I'm more put at ease with JJ. Because he... He might have not actually had an idea for what he wanted to do with, like, the Knights of Ren or whatever. But I feel like he could... He would be able to know how to bring it all in. I trust him. JJ... I trust in you. You you messed this, this up. This movie boy. will make or break the trust. <laughs> I will. I you know Star Trek was a little iffy. I think you're a fine director, but you, you need to stay away from Cloverfield. God damn it! You're gonna ruin. There's like another one that's coming out soon. I just forgot. If you, I don't, I don't know if he's doing that one. I, okay, whatever. But <laughs> I still, I trust in you. Okay. <laughs> I like how you're staring. I'm staring at, at the, the mic. microphone like he's right there. Don't let don't let me down, babe. Okay, don't let me down. All right, so that was our, like, three-hour whatever rant. It was going to be and more discussion. It was gonna be more of a debate. That's kind of what we had in mind. We did debate on some of the points. But some, some. most of them we kind of agreed. Like, most oh, of them we kind garbage. of agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't as heated as I was expecting it to be, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> because at the end of the day, you're still friends, and we still agree that Star Wars is in a bit of a pickle, and it will take a lot for them to get out. Ah, that's why the Clone Wars is coming back. <clears throat> and that's why I'm so excited for it. So, with that being said, I think we're going to wrap it up. Thank you again to everyone. Um, let's do our little plugs right now. Um, yeah. You can find me on Instagram, at Soph underscore Taji. That's T-A-T-G-E. And you can find Anthony. At Anto Gaming 2018 or at the About section of my name page. You can just click Instagram and it'll bring you right there. So, yeah. Actually, I, I think I put it in every description, too. I don't remember if I do or not. Okay. All right. But anyway. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining us once again. Yeah. We hope that you have a good evening, uh, afternoon, or morning. That's me, Sophia, and Anthony signing off for day off. And we'll see you at the next one. Goodbye. Bye-bye.